did the writers of the Jesus story borrow from the books of Enoch? I woke up this morning with a slight epiphany. I'm going to have to flesh it out even more and go back and do some research. But I want to give you guys a little taste. So when I woke, I woke this morning, and as many times I do, I lay in the bed and I meditate on my dreams and just morning thoughts. And one of those morning thoughts was the fact that there is a lot of similarity between the birth of Jesus and the birth of Noah. Now, as far as reading the Bible, the only thing that you really gain an understanding of Noah is that Noah was born from Lamech. And then that Noah grew up and he was found to be righteous and God wanted to destroy the earth. You no, know, start over with man, you know, because so much evil was on the planet. And so Noah was chosen and his sons and then everything started brand new and it's supposed to be a new creation. But then I thought about the book of Enoch. And when you read the book of Enoch, you get a lot more detail on the birth of Noah. For those of you who have not read it, and there's also the book of Noah, the Watcher, the book of the Watchers, and the book of the Giants. You'll find those in the uh, Dead Sea, among the Dead Sea Scrolls. But I thought about how the books of Enoch, the book of the Giants, the book of the Watchers, the book of Noah, were very widely read. And especially the book of Enoch was very widely read in the first, second, and third century. These were very popular books to have been read. And they were very popular even before that first, second, third century of the uh, BCE. So very popular books, very popular. And one of the reasons you know that they were very popular, other than the fact that people claim them is the fact that they are quoted so many times in your actual canonized Bible. But in the book of Noah and the book of Enoch, they, they describe Noah's birth in great detail. The first thing that you may notice in that is that while Enoch is up in heaven with God, that Lamech, who was away from his wife and could not have possibly been the father of Noah, when he comes home and sees that his wife is pregnant and she had a, and she's having a baby, well, he questions the, whether or not the baby is his because the baby is born white with locks of white hair, with the ability to speak, and with eyes that were so beautiful they illuminated the house. The house was full of light. He looked like one of the watchers, like one of the angelic beings. Lamech is similar to Joseph because Lamech then goes and he asks his father Methuselah about it and what should he do because here his wife has committed adultery as far as he was concerned and should he give her the magic potion and then Lamech prays to his father Enoch who is up in heaven and Enoch communicates with Lamech with Methuselah and tells him to let Lamech know that this is your son and your son will basically be the savior of mankind. Is this not the same or very similar? I can't say it's the exact same, but it is very similar to Joseph wanting to put Mary away because he knew that he was not the father of Jesus. But then the angel Gabriel comes down and said, Joseph, do not be afraid for the child that Mary is bearing <laughs> is from the Holy Spirit and will bring salvation to mankind. Do you not see the similarities of how this is another Cinderella story that just keep being modified for the current day? And then Lamech's wife, young, hasn't done anything wrong, but she is granted to be the bearer of Moses. This angelic being who's going to save the save humanity much like Mary Mary found favor with God Lamech's wife who is not mentioned found favor with the gods or God and then the child's birth being miraculous his eyes shone brightly a star hovered brightly above the house. Noah, 
then grows up. We don't know much about his childhood. Jesus don't know much about his childhood. Noah is the salvation is the savior of mankind for his time frame. And for this great flood is coming that is going to destroy the world. Jesus is the savior of mankind before this Armageddon, this end time is going to destroy the world. Moses' job is to save the few. Jesus' job is to save a few. Noah is a son of God or a son at minimum of a watcher or one of the angelic beings. Jesus is a son of God. I woke up thinking about those similarities and how it is just a copy. When we know that the books of Enoch, the watch, books of the watcher, the book of Noah and the book of the giants were considered to be apocryphal, meaning fake, fan fiction. We know that the books of the Gospels and some of the epistles, the epistles were definitely, some of the epistles are definitely considered to be um, argumentative, debatable rather. But we know that there is no known writer of any of the Gospels. They're written anonymously. And it is my thought, because nobody can prove who the authors are, but it is my thought that those books were written by Josephus, Philo, and Herod. So these authors would have created this book. And those authors would have very much known about the books of Enoch, the books of Noah, the book of the Watchers, and the book of the Giants. And could they have borrowed from those books to create the Jesus narrative? So y'all have a great day. And remember always, you have to free yourself to be yourself because your greatness is non-negotiable. Good journey, good vibrations.